Okay, welcome in this tutorial. Um, this time we will make the the last of uh, these three elements that we uh, want to create um, uh, to um, make the the next tutorial um, with the lighting and the material. And this last element is uh, uh, kind of. Uh, bowl like this okay um, so uh, I will can let this cube in the scene and uh, for this case I will press 1 and 5 and I will add uh, a background image so I can just uh, make n to have the properties panel here uh, not the property but the, this uh, panel here uh, and click background image, add image, and open. And I will open this picture element tree. Okay. Um, I can just save my scene and I will name it element um, tree underscore tutorial. That's all. Perfect. Um, I can just. Uh, resize the picture, change the opacity or move uh, move it, okay. So I will do something closer to the, the origin. So I have the cube here and what I want to do is to press uh, option M to merge all vertices, the all vertices at center. So if I press G now, you can see that I have a little dot here. This is because I have only one vertice. So I start with it and I just need to draw a path here. Okay, so I press Ctrl and uh, click to um, uh, add some vertice or I can press E to extrude the vertice. Okay, the goal is to have uh, as less possible vertices uh, I don't use to press control and uh, try to have something smooth like this okay because uh, I will add a subsurf later and um, the the nice and well polished uh, shape uh, will be made by the subsurf so it's pretty better to have not too much um, vertices to draw the line. So I will try something like this. Okay. Very easy way to, to create object that only works for um, object that I want to spin uh, like this. Okay, A and Z. I can add vertices between uh, two vertices on, on a segment by just select two vertices and press W and I click subdivide. Okay. Uh, e N X E N Z E N X. Oop. Just like this. Okay. And I will go uh, on the other way because. And you can look that I use exactly um, the same uh, points. It's not there. Is no interest to do something like this. Okay, so you can just align this object. Okay, okay, okay. You can just set manually um, this. Okay, I can see the local axis, but I also can. Um, choose between global and local, it depends where the pivot point here. But in local axis here, I press zero in the X and I'm very well aligned here in this case. Okay. Um, so if uh, you have trouble, for example, something like this or this, okay, you can also select this to shape and press S and Y and zero. Okay. Normally this will um, be fixed trouble okay but also um, 
bring you uh, uh, not very well aligned um, to the origin. So, okay, but it doesn't matter because what we want to do next uh, is to use this uh, as the center of the rotate the spin um, tool, and I will press Shift S then cursor to select it. Okay, so here I can set the origin to the 3D cursor in object mode, but in edit mode I'm still very well aligned. And now I need to go to top view orthographic and just press spin. Okay, it's important to be at top and orthographic because if you are something uh, like this, for example, and you spin, okay, and I choose 360. You can see that now I have not an object very well aligned. I will exert, uh, I will make something like this, and you spin the object. You can see that um, the spin tool depends first by the 3D cursor, then second by the view or the angle uh, of view um, uh, in in which view you are to 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 make the the spin. So. Uh, I'm in top view, uh, I have the 3D cursor very well aligned so I can spin. You can see that I've changed the angle value here. If you don't have the window, just look at the, the little label here with the plus option. And I can choose, uh, okay, 16 step. I think it will be uh, enough. And the angle at 360. Uh, 360. And it's perfect, but you must keep in mind that the the first line is, is uh, a double now, okay? Because you have the zero and you have the three hundred and sixty, uh, sixty, okay? So you have uh, double vertices here, and you can fix uh, this trouble just by selecting all the object and press here, remove double, okay? See that uh, in this case fifty four. Uh, vertices uh, have, um, have been removed. Uh, perfect. So now I have my shape. I can just add a modifier, modifier subsurf. Okay, and I can increase the view uh, subsurf. I can set the shading to smooth. Okay, and now I have uh, something pretty similar. If I want just to change a little bit, okay, I can just. Uh, scale uh, this um, this loop. I can select by uh, an edge and press Option to uh, have the complete loop. Okay, and uh, I also um, can just press this option to have um, the low poly uh, object but fitted on the object affected by the subsurf so sometimes it's easy to to have to visualize a better better shape okay but i prefer to work uh, with this okay um good uh if you need to add some details you can just use ctrl r and just add some uh, Things like this, you can work uh, with more. Uh, you can work with more um, loop cut, but you can also um, add loop cut here. Okay, but you can also work with uh, crease edge. You can see that here I press Shift and E, then I increase, I reduce the power of the subsurf based from this selection. Okay, so you can combine, um, you can combine uh, both tool, okay, um, by increasing the number of loop cut and uh, and reduce the or uh, increase the tension between the the the, the subsurf effect, or just by adding um, more crease to uh, some loop. Okay, so. This is good. I can just select all the object and press Ctrl and N to make sure that all the normal uh, are outside on this 
um, surface and inside on the other okay so it seems to be to be good um, I will rename it element whoop, element tree okay and for this I don't want to to make a group because I have only one mesh in the scene uh, I can just uncheck the background image I will press option and G to have the um, pivot point at zero and I will just oh I will remove the normal here and I will just align this but you can see that with the subsurf I'm here in the air so I will press this option to see the high the final uh, mesh with the subsurf and I can just move a little bit down like this okay and now okay your object is uh, under uh, the line but okay here but with the subsurf applied it's okay uh, oh it's a little bit uh, big so I will just make the 3d cursor at zero and at um, uh, 35 centimeters and just reduce the, um, this element okay I can use viewport at 1 and let the render at 2 okay um, and that's all uh, I can just fix the scale value apply potential rotation scale okay save my scene and it's done thank you for watching